I'm here with Susan from LogoJet, the CEO, founder, correct? Yes. Of LogoJet. And we're going to talk about UV printing on a professional level today and kind of the ins and outs of what you get when you invest in a professional UV printer. And I have questions. She has answers. So tell us a little bit about LogoJet. Sure. So I started the business over 20 years ago, and I'm originally from Toronto. I moved down to the United States to expand the business. Today I live in Lafayette, Louisiana. Okay. And we actually manufacture our printers in South Korea. We get really great quality uh, from South Korea and we've been supporting customers worldwide for the last 20 years. What made you want to get into UV printing of all things? You know, it was almost by accident. I was very fortunate to meet an engineer that literally took an Epson printer and chopped it up to do something else. And I was like, this is amazing technology. What if we can offer this in the United States? And it started off as a golf ball printer and the rest <laughs> is just history. Every day it's been, can it print on this? Can it print on a USB? Can it print on the ornament? And it's never changed. Every day I'm still getting a new application and we're being challenged every day to find a solution. It keeps us on our tippy toes and yeah. it's been very rewarding. You know what's been rewarding for me to see is that I started my laser engraving business over a decade ago, okay? And I know how long LogoJet has been around because LogoJet, just to be clear, is not some fly-by-night new UV printer on the market. They've actually been around for how many years? 20 years. 20 years now. And they were around when I was just starting my laser engraving business and it intrigued me because I saw you at the APA show early on in my career. And to see you still here a decade later, still improving, innovating your product, it says a lot to me in my book about equipment that I look at and that I respect because you're still here. You haven't changed your name. No. You haven't rebranded yourself like I've seen other companies do that had a poor product. You're just still LogoJet. And I just wanted to congratulate you on that. It, it says a lot about your product. Thank you. LogoJet name has been in the industry for a while. There is one thing that we constantly change and that's getting better. We get better every day. We believe we do make quality UV printers. In fact, we lead the industry with a three-year warranty and five-star customer support. Yeah. Proof is on the Google online, and that's really hard to do. We take a lot of pride in what we've built, and all we can do is continue to be better and listen to our customers, right? Yeah. Like, our innovation is built on customer innovation. What kind of training and customer support do people get when they kind of invest in one of your machines, whether it's the larger format or the mm -hmm. starter unit, what, what kind of training do they get right off the bat? Sure, so we do various types of training to meet your needs, but typically we always recommend to do an on-site where we actually send a technician. We have technicians across the United States to get greater, closer reach to customers. And we spend two days where we install, we train, we give hands-on. The second day is just printing all day long. And our goal is to get you in production. Right. We don't want to just go and teach you how to print one thing when you can maximize the entire bed. So if you lined up an order for us to do, we're actually producing orders on, you know, day two of the on-site really in most cool. cases. And uh, here we are. Mm -hmm. So we'll cater the training. Sometimes if they're very experienced, we'll do it remotely. So we'll actually spend time with them over the phone. We'll remote to their computer. And it doesn't end there. It's constant, actually. Yeah. Right. So even if they need more training, we'll remote in, give them software training over the phone again. Or if they want us to come back again and train a new team, we can do that as well. I think that's really important because when you get into professional UV printers like you sell at LogoJet, you know, there's a decent investment made into these machines. And I think that what I like to see is that it's not just the equipment that you're buying. And I've said this about companies like Epilog, you know, where they're very high-end industrial machines, you're not just buying the equipment or the ink or, you know, whatever. What you're buying is excellent customer service, excellent training, and a company that's going to help you when that tough time arises, whether it's a question you have, whether it's something that needed to be fixed on the machine, whether it's someone who didn't do the cleaning cycles and they jammed up their print head, 
they need help right away. Not a Facebook group, not a support group. You know, they need someone they can call, shoot an email to and get answers within 24 hours. Thank and you. I feel like when you reach your level of machine, that's what they should be expecting. We've been able to have a good reputation because we are a manufacturer with a direct sales model. So when you buy a machine from LogoJet, you're getting the support direct from the manufacturer. Yeah. Which means we have all the parts, all the ink in stock, we have all the knowledge. And our knowledge is not just about the machine. Our knowledge is about the customer, mm -hmm. right? What are they trying to do? What is their business holistically? And we try to support that and not just the actual equipment. So for example, if we know that you need to boost up more productivity on specific products, we'll help you maximize the output by adjusting settings. Are you printing on the entire bed? Do you need a custom tray? Maybe we need to make a tray so that the operator can load it effectively and really come up with that solution for them outside of just the printer itself, right? Yeah. So software as well, more efficient workflows, more people are getting more automated online and really want to get the least amount of clicks, right? We can help them get there. So tell me, uh, since you mentioned software, tell me a little bit about 30,000 foot overview. I know we can't get into too much detail, but what kind of files does your software accept as far as graphic files? It accepts PDF, EPS, AI files, PSD, PNG files, maybe some JPEGs. It does not accept uh, CorelDRAW. You'd have to export that as a sure. GPS file. Yep. Uh, but it comes into the RIP software, that's uh -huh. what it's called. And so the RIP software helps to process the job, whether you're doing a white amber base, you're doing textures. That's all controlled within the RIP software. We make our own software called Print Pro, LogoJet Print Pro. It's powered by Xathari. Okay. And it's a great RIP software. It's a perpetual license, so you own it and uh, you get all the updates, you know, throughout the years of owning it. And when you say RIP, just because some people are new to professional UV printers, what is a RIP software's purpose? Uh, well, it's going to basically take your art file and it's going to rasterize the image so that it can print through the driver to the printer, right? Okay. So it's not it's as a trans design. It's a translator. It's a translator. Yeah. You know you know how to print from paper to your from, printer. Yeah, from you your know, software right to, to your drive. printer, right. Right. This is the interface to tell it to do more control beyond what a printer can do. Because most cases, a UV printer is printing on a dark media. So you need to have that white underbase. So the software knows to say, print the white underneath first, trail the color ahead of it, mm -hmm. right, after, and maybe choke the white ink because yeah. you don't want that white to poke out. Right. And then it'll do more advanced controls with the head where you can tell it to do specific things per head. So in our case, we have a rotary attachment. Yep. And so when you attach the rotary attachment, it has a different print setting and it tells it to turn off a portion of the head in the front Yep. and in the back. It prints maybe a little bit in the center so that you don't have overspray. Right. That's all controlled in the rib. So there's a lot of layering techniques. Whether you're printing braille, you can tell it to print eight layers to yeah. achieve. You can print braille with these. It's very you cool. You can. And so that's where, where the rick comes in. It yeah. says to do all these functions. Very neat. I noticed that you have two machines on display here at the show. Mm -hmm. You've got the 90R. The UVX-90R. The UVX-90R, yeah. help me with the names here. And then the other unit that you have, it's a little bit more compact, slightly smaller bed is the 40R? Right, so it is a UVX-40R plus, we call it tabletop because it literally sits on the table. Right. right. It's got a printer of 18 by 24, which is a very standard media size. Yeah. So if you wanted to get into the signage business, you can print a Coroplast sign even with a full bleed and get into the signage business. The 90R is double the size, printing at 24 by 36. Also a very standard media size. So Nice. And both can do tumblers. Both can do tumblers. Both have vacuum tables. Correct. If you want to uh, pull down light materials, uh, leatherette, it, you can just use the vacuum for that. But we do provide a sticky mat, it's reusable. Yes. And so everything that you see here, most of it was printed on the sticky mat. So That's you, very cool. you basically just print your template outline on the mat, it's reusable, washable. You put your product on there so you know where it lands. Yeah. And that's, that's how you can register it. 
Yeah, I noticed that. And uh, I, I've noticed that that is the industry standard is to print right on the, the mat and then just wipe it off when you're done, which is very cool. Yeah. And it, it does cure the trace lines, but because it's that sticky mat, it doesn't bond to it. So it's easily to, to you can wipe it off. You can wipe it off. Yeah. I'm seeing more customers use just construction paper, craft paper roll, mm -hmm. And they're just taping it onto the bed so that they don't. Yeah, that's a hack too. I've seen that yeah. floating around, maybe on my channel <laughs> a little bit. I would but, say um, anything flat yeah. is okay because then it doesn't move. But some objects, you know, if they're worried about it moving, the sticky mat is a good solution too. I think one of the things I told you before I wanted to talk about was, you know, the difference between when you get into, and I'll list some links in the description below of what these various machines rough estimate cost is, but I know you have specials going on, so I don't want to say a hard number, sure. but uh, when you get into the, you know, $28,000 and up range of UV printers, what are you really, besides the customer service, which we talked about, what are you getting as opposed to like some of the new desktop UV printers that are coming out that are very compact, very small, kind of low volume, but effective UV printers. What are you really getting when you make that kind of investment with LogoJ? Sure, you're getting reliability. Yeah. And reliability also equals time savings. But you know, when you get into this kind of range, like uptime is really important, right? And so with better reliable equipment that's designed in this way, you're gonna get that uptime and you're gonna get faster speeds. Faster speeds mean that you're outputting product at a faster rate than the smaller models, right? And you get time back to do something else, to run your business, right? To work on designs and just really not be tied to the machine all day, right? Exactly. So. What I like about these machines, and I don't think everyone understands, is the size of the print head and how much ink it's throwing down per pass versus like a smaller print head in a smaller machine. And I always talk about this on my channel of how time is money. You know, you're talking about uptime, you know, having a machine that's running because you take care of it, you maintain it. But what I see in these machines is how fast can I complete one job so I can move on to the next ticket in the day because that's more money for me per day. And these print heads are massive and they are throwing down a, a lot of ink mm -hmm. at a time and curing it instantly. I watched how fast some of the machines here were printing the other day, and it was very impressive. Oh, yeah. sure, yeah. It was much faster than I've seen on other units. Yeah, we can print an 18 by 24 sign in less than like five minutes. 18 by 24 sign in less than yeah. Five minutes. And I think finally, I want to wrap up with someone that I, I always hear people talking about this. You know, a lot of people have heard horror stories of ink heads clogging up, white ink jamming up, back flashing of UV lamps, curing ink on the print head, and all these horror stories, which I think stops a lot of people from wanting to invest in a large machine like this because they're afraid that they won't have enough jobs to be running the machine all the time in the beginning. And their stuff's gonna clog up and then they're gonna have to buy a new print head. I'm just telling you the stories yeah. I hear online. And, you know, honestly, when I hear them too, I kinda, you know, bite my nails a little bit and I go, Do, is this something I wanna get into? So what's the best way with your machines, how to avoid any of that happening? You know, that's all a reality. What you're saying is true. We've seen it, we support it but we educate our customers. Knowledge is power. You have the knowledge about these things, we give them best practices to avoid these things. And we're gonna show you the path. Really, it's really just guiding our customers and telling them like the, the onsite is so key. If we can show you in person and give you a more hands-on approach, you're better equipped actually to avoid everything that you just mentioned. Yeah, so it's all about training, yeah. knowledge, paying attention. And hey, if it doesn't work out, we're here to support you and to get you through it, right? Let me uh, recap what you just said. <laughs> Basically, when if you get a LogoJet and LogoJet comes to your shop or your house to train you for two days and tells you how to avoid these things in great detail, do what they say <laughs> and you will be happier down the road. <laughs> That's basically what you, you just said. It all up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, um, we're going to list links in the description if you want to learn more about LogoJet or any of the units that they have on display here. Susan, thank you so much for thank meeting you, with Michael. me Love and what you're talking doing about your channel. Yeah, thank you.
it's a great time for UV printing and it's finally making the connection and people that are doing laser engraving, all of you out there should be on the UV train because it is going full force right now. Thanks again. Thanks, Mike. All right.